Hi, my name is Romano and welcome to the second part of my video series about what is CI CD. In the first video, we just saw the step of CI, which is the continuous integration. With continuous integration, the developer is able to commit his source code to the source code repository and the continuous integration will then take that source code, integrate it with the rest of the source code, build it, do the code analysis on, on that, do the static security analysis on that source code, do execute all of the unit tests and then execute all of the integration tests. Then the, the developer gets feedback if everything has been integrated. This was the CI step, the continuous integration step. So with that step, nothing has de been deployed to an environment. The CD step, which stands for continuous delivery, then is needed to have something deployed to a production-like environment. And this is now shown here in green. So with continuous delivery, our continuous integration server will deploy the software package to a production-like environment and then execute tests like user interface tests on this production-like environment. And again, our developer will get feedback for, this, for these executed tests. And with that, with continuous delivery, the developer is, is able to see problem that could happen when we are do, doing a production deployment very, very early. That's why this is a very good method to spot problems early in the process of developing software.